Hey guys, it's Ryan here with another episode of Blockchain Markets. And today we're going to address a question that a lot of you have. Is Bitcoin a scam? Now this is a question that a lot of newest to the space have. Um, so let's get into it. So is Bitcoin a scam? Now this is a question that I see a lot, especially in, in forums online. And my guess is that a lot of these people that ask that question uh, are new to the space, to the uh, cryptocurrencies space. And what I'm going to do in this video, I thought I'll go through a few things I would do if I would be, uh, if I would be just starting in cryptocurrencies to make sure that uh, where I'm investing my money uh, is not a, a scam. So in this case, let's say it's Bitcoin. So what I would do is I would think before, okay, let's go to the, the website. Let's see who is behind the project. Is this a real thing? Um, so in the case of Bitcoin, I would just go here to the side. I could see now every you can think like everybody can pull it off. Everybody can make a website. Anyone can do it. That's true. Not everyone, but many people could do it. Um, now, so you want to know in the FAQ section who is behind this and is it a real project? Now, as you can see here, they're very, they give uh, information in a lot of detail. So what is Bitcoin? Uh, I, you, if you want to see that, I also made a video specifically on what Bitcoin is and what the technology behind is. Um, but let's go into this. So then I would just go, if I would be you, um, you don't have to follow what I say. Um, you should have, you should do always your own research, but that this is basically what I would do. I would just go and read everything that I can find on their website, especially um, who is behind, what's the team, uh, what does the team look like. Um, so who is behind Bitcoin? As I said in, the, in my previous video, Bitcoin was started by Satoshi Nakamoto, you can see in here. Um, now you can, and who is behind Bitcoin? Now you, you can see that it's an open source project. And it's basically a, a community of developers. You can see in here um, who controls the Bitcoin. Nobody owns the, the Bitcoin network. So you can see here. Um, so Bitcoin is controlled by all Bitcoin users around the world. And while developers are improving the software, they can force a change in the Bitcoin protocol. Now, so you see it's an open source project. Now the next thing is to see, okay, where's the code? If it's an open source project, let's go and see here in participate. Development. And let's go to the GitHub. And then here, this works for not only for Bitcoin, but when you do your research about other projects as well. If it's an open source project, they're very likely to have to put the information in, in GitHub. Um, as you see here, there are more than 16,000 commits. There's a lot of uh, uh, guys, a lot of uh, people contributing to the, the project. So this is something that is constantly being uh, worked by a, a lot of different people. You see here, five days ago, two days ago. So on that side, I'm I'm happy. I see that it's a project that people are actually working on it. Um, now the white paper. This is the most famous white paper, of course, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Now this is the how everything, the whole cryptocurrency space started with this white paper with bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system now is there a white paper is there a white paper yes there is one and here it is you can link it you can click the link in the description and you can go through the whole white paper i'm not going to go through it now just i wanted to show that uh, there is a, a white paper um now Something else that I forgot to say also, uh, you want to see who uh, collaborated in that open source community in the past. Um, 
that uh, are there like big names that were in that community? And the answer is yes, you can check this by yourself in the in forums, ask it in, in Reddit or in Quora, uh, in BitTalk. Uh, but there are some very big names uh, in the crypto space that have worked or uh, as researchers or, or as um, developers for that for the Bitcoin community in the past. Names, for example, like um, Vitalik Buterin from Ethereum, the founder of Ethereum, uh, was a researcher uh, and, and a contributor to bit the Bitcoin community. So he was part of that open source community. Um, uh, the CEO uh, of NEO, Da Hongfei, he was also uh, involved in the Bitcoin community. He, he, um, yeah, he was, I think a, a few years ago, he started a few meetups in, Ch in China, uh, in Shanghai, if, I, if I'm right. Um, so he was very involved in that community. Um, now, Charles Hoskinson also was very involved in the, of Cardano, uh, and IOHK was very involved in the in the open source community of Bitcoin, and that's where they got the and the knowledge about uh, cryptocurrencies. Um, so yes, you have also big names in other projects which are like the the evolution of Bitcoin. These guys started with this project, so it, this is a, a legit. This is actually a running uh, project. Now the other thing is, uh, if you're as an investor, you want to see uh, if um, you also want to see on Coin Market Cap. So let's check Coin Market Cap now. And you just one thing that you want to check is. In a project is first the length of how long has this been already listed in this case of course this is the the longest period as you see here has this an old time since June 2013 now the whole project started in in 2008 with the white paper um, but there you can see that it is something that is being traded there so the the coin is also you can check in the historical data to see how much is the volume that people transact on a daily basis you can see in here um, so you can see in this case it's a lot money in this case in the case of uh, bitcoin is billions as you see um but in some other coins of course it's much lower um being bitcoin for uh, bitcoin represents uh 45 percent of the whole cryptocurrency market so it is of course a very legit project um now so we saw the code is available on github the team, people that have known uh, or that had, uh, that have worked in the past, are known. Uh, it's people that are actually maintaining GitHub. Uh, it's an open source project that has a lot of uh, contributors. It is moving forward. Um, now, the other thing is also: is it being used? Um, yes, Bitcoin is being used every day now, and that's a good uh, point. Is it being used to transact? online if you go to the website and then you see let's go here the first thing they say is bitcoin is an innovative payment network and a new kind of money so a digital currency it, it's a payment method payment network sorry it's peer-to-peer -peer transactions and borderless payments and uh, it protects you from fraud now the only thing that is, uh, and, and of course we have, I have said that uh, Bitcoin is, is not a scam for all the reasons that I just uh, stated. Now, I do want to say one thing, that Bitcoin was started as a peer-to-peer -peer, um, peer -peer payment network. So then you wouldn't have to 
uh, rely on uh, centralized or on, on banks, for example, and I could just lend to someone else. Now, is it being used today at, mainly as a, a way to make transactions on, online? No. The reason why Bitcoin is uh, so big today is because it's the um, it's what gold used to be uh, in the non-crypto world. So Bitcoin is basically gold in crypto. So when uh, a lot of people like to in the in the normal world, so to speak, when people you'll see that uh, um, when there is a financial crisis, people like to to sell the stocks, sell the bonds, and then put the money in gold because they feel it's more it's safer. Uh, there is a certain amount of gold that will be uh, mined uh, in the world, and then you cannot do you cannot mine much more. Uh, it's not like uh, uh, physical money that you can just keep on printing. Central banks can just keep on printing. And in the case of uh, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is basically the the, the gold standard. There, there is only twenty one. As, as, as I can show you here, there is only twenty one million Bitcoin. And that's all it will ever be. So yeah, uh, is it Bitcoin being used as um, what it was meant to to be for to transact online peer to peer? No, uh, it's mainly used as a store of value, and then for that has been very successful. As you see, um, as you see here, if you would have held uh, bought here and and hold. And, and so here or still keep it you would have made a lot of money but then you're not using it uh, the the utility of uh, sending money to someone else um, it's not what we're talking about here then then it has been successful as a store of value um, so long story short Bitcoin is not a, a scam of course it's a it's a very big project does it have a lot of um, uh, of uh, potential in the future? That's another. Uh, that's uh, a topic for another another video. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, just uh, ask it in the in the comment sections. In the comment section, um, click the link also in the description, so you can join the our private community of crypto investors and blockchain uh, enthusiasts. Um, and that's it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.